Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 49, and I wanna talk about a couple of things today. And before I get into the really big topic that we're gonna talk about, I wanna do a little update from last week's video. So if you did not see vlog number 48, where I was talking about us having to essentially stop uh, being in network with Amplifone, and Amplifone is the managed care company that administers the benefits, the hearing aid benefits for Cigna and Aetna and then several other insurance companies. But what I was talking about in that video is that because they cut our reimbursement by over a third, that we had to remove, remove ourselves from that network because any patient that we would take into the clinic, we'd be eventually losing money on. So it just didn't make a whole lot of sense for us to stay with that network. And so I was basically talking about all the reasons why we need to get out of it and all the reasons why having these insurance companies dictating you know, your benefits through managed care is really a, not a good thing in terms of uh, you and what's good for you. Uh, but all of that being said, the update that I wanna give you on today is that when we reached out to Amplifone and said that you know, effective January 1st, we no longer wanna be a part of your network, they, they obliged and they ended up kicking us out early. So they ended up kicking us out early. So as of right now, and I know I said in the video last week that we would still be an in-network provider if you have Amplifone benefits, but they kicked us out early. So no longer can you come into our clinic even in 2020 and use your benefits from Cigna or Aetna or any other insurance company that goes through Amplifone to manage the benefits. And so the thing that I, I mean, the thing that's obvious here is that at the end of the year, everybody is trying to use their insurance benefits, okay? Uh, you, you have your deductibles met a lot of the time, so when you go in somewhere, a lot of the care that you get is going to be covered sometimes entirely by your insurance, and so a lot of people are trying to get in right before the end of the year. I mean, today, as of me recording this, I think it's the 12th of December, and we had patients on the schedule who were trying to use their Amplifone benefits, their insurance benefits before the end of the year, and we basically had to call them and say, sorry, can't use your benefits here. Good luck trying to find a provider this time of year to get in and get your treatment in time for you to use your benefits because it's not likely going to happen. On top of that, anyone who called over the course of the week and who will continue to call over the course of the next couple of weeks, they're basically screwed. And so this is where I think the problem is. Where do you think that their allegiances lie, the, these managed care companies? Do you think that they truly have your best interests at heart or are they really in it for themselves? And this is just my opinion, but if, if I was in charge of Amplifone, first of all, I wouldn't have cut provider reimbursement by a third and expected everyone to be happy about it and think that it was a good idea. And on the other side of that, I would be like, you know what, it's the end of the year here. A lot of our members, meaning, our, if I was Amplifone, a lot of our members are trying to get in at the end of the year to use their benefits. And you know what? I'm upset that these providers want to pull out, so we're just going to cancel them early. Now, to be fair, it could have had something to do with the video that I posted last week basically saying how ridiculous it was that they reduced the reimbursement, but, you know, whatever. Uh, it, we would have happily served the remainder of our patients who were on the schedule and who were going to schedule before the end of the year to try to sneak in right before the end of the year to use their benefits. But uh, really, uh, Amplifone cares more about themselves, in my opinion, than they do about you, their members. So it is what it is, all right? So enough of me ranting on that. I really don't wanna talk about insurance a whole lot more today, nor do I really wanna talk about it a whole lot more in the future because it is just so freaking ridiculous. That being said, time to move on to topic number two, which is the main topic of this video, which is I'm taking a step back from YouTube. That's right, I am actually taking a step back from YouTube. Um, here at the end of the year, and, and a lot of you know that I am building out a clinic and we're gonna be moving into that clinic and the target date is January 11th that we're going to be up and running inside of the new clinic. And there's also a lot of other projects I'm trying to get done here at the end of the year. And so it just seems from a time perspective and 
to be honest, I'm, we're not going anywhere. I, mean, I have more time to get more work done because I'm not going home for Christmas uh, to see family, either my family or Ashley's family. But there's just so many other projects that I'm really trying to get done right now, a lot of different moving pieces, and it's becoming increasingly difficult to try to get all of those things done. There's, there's just not enough time in the day for me to do everything that I want to do. And so if I take a step back and look at where I could cut time from, the, the only area that I think is justifiable to cut time from is creating video content for the YouTube channel. So I'm definitely going to not be making as many videos. I'm not gonna stop making videos that you're probably all wondering like, oh my gosh, he's, he's ending the YouTube channel or he's just not gonna be making any video content whatsoever. That's not the case. I'm still gonna be doing these vlogs every week. I'm still gonna be producing one structured video each week, probably for the next month until we get the new clinic up and running. So I usually try to do two videos per week that are structured, but it just takes so much time to research, script, film, edit, you know, all of that stuff takes a lot of time. And if I can cut out one video per week, that almost opens up an entire day of me being able to get something else done, so work on another project. But each day this week, I feel like we've stopped by the clinic, you know, accepting deliveries for different, you know, furniture and, and things like that. And like, I just don't have any time to do this stuff otherwise. And, you know, and I love it. I mean, I, I, I thrive when there's a lot of stuff to do and I have to get a lot of stuff done in a, in a little bit of time. I actually love that feeling. I love the feeling of being productive uh, and working hard and feeling like I'm making a difference. But at the same time, I know that I can't burn the candle on both ends forever all the time. So I think that this is the right time for me to take a little step back, slow down the content creation. In fact, I, I think I've been slowing it down a little bit over the past couple of weeks. There was a couple of weeks ago I decided not to create any, not, not create any content, but I decided not to create two videos a week because there was just so many other things that I had to do. And I think that I need to be a little bit more consistent about that here as we finish up the year and as we start 2021. With, with all the other stuff that's going on here. But I feel like once I get the, the new clinic open, once we get the new clinic open and we have everything kind of moved from the Anthem location down into the Phoenix location and we get everything installed, get the sound booths built in there, get all of the, the diagnostic equipment pulled over, installed, recalibrated to make sure everything's working the right way. I think there'll be more time that I can put back into creating video content. Uh, there's also a lot of really highly technical videos that I want to do and, and some of them I think are going to be really, really good and valuable videos to have out there. And I want to make sure that I'm committing enough time to those. I wanted to try to get those done here by the end of the year. I don't think that's going to happen just based on the amount of technical work that goes into those. Some of these videos, like if I'm doing a review video, or if I'm actually trying to show you exactly what I'm doing technically uh, and, and explaining different procedures that I'm running in the clinic, those take me days to complete, to do all of the, the capturing of the video, to doing the scripting of how I want to explain things, which is very important. That All of that has to be very precise. And it just takes a ton of time to do. And I here at the end of the year, there's just so much other stuff to do that I need to slow it down a little bit, but I think that 2021 from a video content creation standpoint is going to be a massive year. I'm going to get a lot of videos done and I'm really, I'm, to be honest, I'm proud of myself for what I accomplished in 2020. It, it wasn't easy. I mean, we added this vlog, we uh, continued on primarily with doing the two videos per week. Uh, we've successfully managed the Dr. Cliff Approved Provider Network to a large degree, and, and that's been a, a really great thing for consumers being able to find hearing care providers in their local area that they know that they can trust that are going to be following best practices. So there was a lot of really good things 
that happened inside of 2020 in spite of COVID going on. But I really think that 2021 is going to be a better year than 2020. Uh, probably, hopefully, because COVID, ugh, boy, hopefully because COVID goes away. I don't know, or at least is is tamed down to some degree. But there's going to be a lot of stuff that I want to do. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to go back and speak at conferences again. Something that really got axed in 2020. But I'm really excited for the future, and I just need a little bit of time here at the end of the year and at the very beginning of 2021 to kind of uh, get all of my stuff together. And unless I take a little bit of a step back from creating YouTube content, I don't think I'm going to be able to get everything done. You know, I always used to, to say that it's better to do a few things really well than to do a bunch of things not well. And so that's the kind of approach that I'm taking here at the end of the year. So I hope you guys aren't mad at me. I'm still going to try to create, you know, content, uh, try to uh, answer questions in the comment section, stuff like that. But uh, to, uh, the rest of this year, we're going to take uh, it a little bit slower from the video creation time. And I'm going to beef up these other things that I, uh, other projects I want to get done. But as soon as I get those other projects done here at the end of the year, in the beginning of next year, we'll jump right back in to creating video content much more consistently. And, and at the quantity that I want to week to week. So that is pretty much it for this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. Again, if you haven't seen last week's vlog, go back and check it because it will make what I talked about today at the beginning of this video, uh, it will make it, uh, uh, give it a lot more context and it'll make more sense to you if you go back and watch that other video. But other than that, guys, I will see you next week.